the surgical technique for the iUni resurfacing system is performed using pre-navigated disposable instruments called eye jigs. They are employed in the following six steps. First, cartilage removal. Second, balancing the knee. Third, axial and sagittal tibial cuts. Fourth, femoral preparation. Fifth, tibial preparation. Sixth, cementing implants. Step one, cartilage removal. Place the femoral eye jig on the condyle and mark the anterior edge of the femoral eye jig. Remove all cartilage posterior to this mark, including the posterior condyle, using a 10 millimeter blade and a curved elevator or an osteotome. Finish cartilage removal using a 5 millimeter ringed curette down to subchondral bone. Step two, balancing the knee. Scrape residual cartilage from the tibial plateau of the affected compartment. Select the balancer chip that achieves the desired ligament tensioning by inserting it between the femur and tibia with the knee inflection. Bring the knee into extension and confirm desired tensioning throughout the range of motion. Step 3. Axial and Sagittal Tibial Cuts Slide the dovetail feature of the tibial eye jig into the top of the tibial alignment guide and lock into position. Next, with the leg in flexion, slide the tibial eye jig onto the peg on the front of the balancer chip. Drill and pin the medial hole on the tibial eye jig. With the knee still in flexion, perform the sagittal tibial cut using the tibial eye jig. Note that the reciprocating saw blade can be left in to protect the ACL insertion while performing the axial cut. Perform axial tibial cut referencing off the tibial eye jig. Remove the alignment guide and the tibial eye jig. Step 4. Femoral Preparation Attach the L-guide to the bottom pinhole on the femoral eye jig and place the assembly on the condyle. Adjust the angle of flexion until the L-guide rests flat on the spacer block while the spacer block touches off on the posterior condyle. Drill and pin the femoral eye jig beginning with the anterior pin first. Make the posterior femoral cut and remove the bone. Step 5. Tibial Preparation Place the tibial template on the tibia. Drill both holes, but pin the posterior hole only to accommodate instruments for the upcoming fin hole preparation. Create the fin hole using a 5 mm osteotome. Step 6. Cementing of Implants Drill 8 to 10, 1 and a half to 2 mm cement holes to enhance cement interdigitation on femoral cortical surface. Apply a layer of cement to the surface of the bone, taking care to fill the holes created for interdigitation. Cement in the metal implants, starting with the tibial tray, and remove all extruded cement. Snap the poly into place by pushing down on the anterior edge. Thank you for reviewing the iUni Surgical Technique Introduction Module. For further technical information or surgical training material, please contact a conformist representative.